a 5mm hook. And then some scissors. Start off by chaining the sides of your bust, something that wraps around your whole upper body. But since this is a mesh, it's going to be able to stretch, so if you want to have your mesh more stretched out, then you can take off five chains from the measurement of your bust. After you have your chains, your chain two, and in the third loop from the hook, insert your hook. But you're gonna wrap around once and you're gonna put a double crochet in the third chain, which is you wrap around once, three loops, pull through two, and then pull through two. Then after you do the double crochet, you're gonna wanna chain one, skip a loop, and go into the one after it with a double double crochet. For the rest of the row, you do double crochet, chain one while skipping the loop in between, and it's going to create these little gaps in between. Once you finish putting the pattern and the rest of the chains, chain two and turn your work. Now you've created these little gaps. In the first gap, insert a double crochet. Put three loops on your hook and pull through two. And pull through two. And then chain one. Once you do that, you're going to double crochet in each gap. So you go in, insert your hook, and double crochet. Then you're going to want to repeat this pattern for the rest of the row. Pattern is going to be the same for the rest of the rows, and it's going to be the length of the body, so the bottom part underneath the cups. I did 16 rows, you can do longer or shorter depending on your preference. Once you do 16 rows for the body, you're going to want to start the cups. So you can either hold it up to your body or if you know the length of your cup, count how many gaps it's going to be. For mine, it's 15th and it's basically how wide your cup is. I did 15 gaps. Once you get to the 15th one, you're gonna stop, chain two, and turn your work. Once you finish 15, you're gonna chain two and turn your work, but instead of just putting a regular pattern in the first two, you're gonna crease the first two together. So in order to decrease the first two together, you wrap around as if you're doing double crochet, and you insert it into the first gap, and then you insert into the second gap. That's gonna put four loops on your hook, then you're gonna to wanna to pull through three, and then pull through two. Then you chain one. Do the normal pattern that we've been doing, the double crochet and chain one for the rest of the row until you have two gaps left. Because in the last two, we're gonna be doing the same thing. So 
So once you have two gaps left, you're going to be doing the decrease again. Where you go into the second to last one and you wrap over your hook like you're doing a double crochet. Insert your hook, insert your hook in the last one, pull through three, and then pull through two. Then you chain two and turn your work. You want to keep doing this until you have two gaps left. Keep doing this and this is going to make it into a triangular shape until you have two gaps left. For me, since I had an odd amount, I had three gaps left and I'm just going to decrease the first two and then do a regular in the last one to have two left. So you're gonna see here, I'm just going to double crochet decrease where I go into the first one with double crochet and then to the second one, pull through three, pull through two, and then a regular one in the last one. Then you're gonna do the double crochet chain one for two gaps for five rows. So that's gonna be row one, and then you basically do four more, just creating two gaps for five rows. Once you're on your fifth row, chain two, turn your work, and then decrease the two gaps together into a one gap. Just like we did before, wrap around your hook once, have three loops, wrap around and grab through the other loop, the other gap, and then pull through three, and then pull through two. So that creates one gap. This time, you're gonna wanna chain three And then you go right back into the one loop with a double crochet. So now that creates one loop. For the rest of the strap, you're just gonna keep doing the chain three double crochet into the one gap over and over again until you have the length of how long you want the strap to be. What I usually do is measure out or measure on my body, but I like the strap to be stretched so I do a little less so that when I put it on, the actual strap itself will be stretched out. Once you finish how long you want it to be, you measure where you want it to go on your back. I like to count from the last stitch where the cup began. I'm gonna do four away, but you can also count from the center too by folding it in half. So I'm gonna count four away and then eventually I'm gonna insert my hook into the fourth gap and we're gonna pull the strap through. So back on your hook, your pain three, but then you take your hook off of the loop. So let's count again where it is. You take the hook off, insert your hook where the desired gap is, where you want to put your strap, and then grab it again. Then you pull the chain three through the loop, double crochet back into the gap.
then you're done one side of the cup and then cut and tie off. Now you're going to repeat the same pattern for the other side. So we just finished one side. Make sure everything's even, count, fold in half, and use the same pattern. Go outside to in. Once you've done that, you make the tie for the center that ties in the front. In order to do so, you're going to do as many chains as you want, depending on how you want the bow to look. Preferably, I like it to do 100, so it's a medium-sized bow, a little longer so that the ends are nice and long. But if you can, you want to try to make the chains a little bit tighter, pull them tight so it makes a nice skinny little chain. Next, you're going to hold it in half and have the front facing you and you're going to weave in the bow tie. I do three below where the cup starts. I go back to front, front to back, back to front, and then go across and then do the opposite. I like to keep the tail long so that I'm able to easily just weave it through. All you have to do is insert your hook and pull the yarn through. After you pull it through, make sure that the two sides are nice and even. So you get this is going to take some time, tug a little, and then measure it from the center up to make sure that the straps are nice and even when you tie it. Once they're even, you want to cut the end off, make them nice and tight, tie the knot, and then cut it off. And then once you put it on, you tie a little bow tie and it makes it nice and cute. And then you guys are all done.